So we are certainly on the wind down for FC24. Make sure you pre-order it today if you want the hero pack and you also want to get access to the night promo. Regardless of that, today EA have dropped us Thiago's 97 rated Futties. He has not premium chemistry, but his card is quite good and he's relatively, relatively cheap to do anyway. 90 rated and 88 rated. I don't know what EA are thinking there. But this card looks actually quite good. I'm hoping he's going to have under 89 shot power as well. 94 pace, 95 dribbling, 92 shooting, 97 passing. Good defending and okay physical. Of course, he's five star skill moves with a four star weak foot. He is five foot nine, medium, medium work rate. He's got the outside foot shot. He's also got flair. Other than that, his traits are quite poor. No flair passes or swerve passes here, which I thought was a little bit strange. Comes out as a cam as well. And of course, can play centre mid also, which is where we've put him. In terms of his shooting stats, he does not have that 89 shot power. But his shooting stats are actually really good. His pace is good. His passing is impeccable in the right areas. We have 99 vision, short pass and long pass. Good crossing and free kick accuracy as well with good curve. Dribbling stats are good, but are going to need an improvement because of his reactions. Once again, EA letting us down with reactions. Are you surprised? I'm not really, personally. It's been the kind of same way of all cards recently. All of them have had really poor reactions, and this Thiago is no different. His dribbling stats outside of that, though, really, really nice. His defending is also okay. If you want to play him a bit more defensive, a shadow on him is perfect. And then his physicals are also all right. Stamina is a little bit low for this stage of the game. And yeah, he, he's got a cool card. It's, it's relatively cheap. And he's got, you know, he's got really good stats. So with all of that in mind, I think I'm going to put on, I want to put on a Maestro to boost up the reactions. And we will do that first. Um, as I think it's a good chem style for him, right? But it's a waste on the passing, as you can see there. You know, his passing stats aren't getting a boost at all, but he's getting 98 reactions now and 99 dribbling. Max out shot power and maxed out long shots. But I think... If you want to play him a bit more advanced, that is a little bit of a waste. So, for me personally, I'm going to go with the Marksman. So, with the Marksman applied, he goes up to 96 finishing, 99 shot power, and long shots with 94 reactions, 99 dribbling, and ball control, and also a little boost to his strength there, up to 82. It's an interesting card. I don't think too many people are going to be interested in it. We are still going to review it, guys. We'll be playing in the 4 one narrow with Thiago playing as to Cam, as I think that's his personally his best position let's get into a few games and see how good he is all right then guys as we get into the first game i just want to give you guys a massive thank you for the support you know so sometimes the player review scene can be a bit difficult um people you know d d don't really appreciate how much work you do put in but uh, you guys have been brilliant to me this year and i really really am grateful for that and here is tiago oh he's got unlucky there hasn't he oh that's gonna be a goal i can't mark that what on earth is that pass yeah so Thank you very much for the support. We are gonna we're gonna do some crazy stuff in FC, man. Um, I'm gonna be doing so many player reviews at the start of the game, and of course we've got that second channel now as well, which I really, really would like you guys to go and check out. It's literally Vitalization Two, and the content over there is absolutely amazing. I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. And here is Tiago again. See, the, the strange thing about this card, right, is I personally think that Chabi Alonso is wasted as a DM, even a centre mid. Um, th this card, not the same. They're both the same rating, but the Chabi Alonso, like, g genuinely, that card is just stupidly good. And, you know, Tiago might be good, but it's like, why release a card like that when we've already got Chabi Alonso and everybody's completed Chabi Alonso? So he's going to have to be very, very, very good to displace that kind of card, right? That's nice from Tiago there. He feels very nice on the ball here, early doors. Oh, oh, Jesus. Problem is, though, even with that marksman attached or applied, he's still going to feel quite weak, isn't he? And he is going to be a provider more than anything. What a save from Courtois that is. Wow. He is still going to feel quite weak just because of his body type and the way he, generally he plays. I'm interested to look at the stamina, actually, though, too, because his stamina could be an issue. Wow. That's got to be a foul, hasn't it? Nice. Okay. His stamina could be an issue in that camera. And if it's an issue in the camera, it's certainly going to be an issue in the centre mid row as well. So, going to be an interesting review, this one, I think. Here is Lorente. I'm going to play that into Vinicius there. It's good football, this. Here is Thiago. Mm. Wow. Wow. Okay. Mm. I've, I've got to say, guys, I feel like this is a, a very strange SBC. Um, I like the price of it. I really like the price of it, but... There are, there are cards out 
better than this one considerably already. This is the stage of the game where the cards all need to be 99, 98 rated SBCs or um, market cards. They all need to be 99 rated to improve your team. And unfortunately, this one probably falls just a little bit below Chabi Alonso. Now, of course, Chabi Alonso is a lot more expensive than this Tiago. And it's also quite strange we're not getting preseason. I understand why we're not because of the new game. Oh, that's nice. He does feel sick on the balls. He feels better on the ball than uh, Alonso. Certainly. As passing, of course, is going to be insane. Or is it? Mm, that's a dodgy pass. I can't expect him to make that, can I? Uh, yeah, we haven't got preseason this year because, of course, we're, we're, we're moving into a new era. It is quite strange, though, because we should be getting, like, the, the end of an era cards. Of course, we're not now, are we? So, go on, Thiago. Oh, good finish. Very, very good finish. That is why I think he should be played as a, as a cam, you know. But then again, is he better than even, you know, right there? Is he better than that Jaden Sancho? Probably ever so slightly on the ball. Um, of course, his passing is considerably better um, than Sancho's. I think that just goes without saying. But generally speaking, man, this is a card that we've seen so much. You know, as a midfielder, yeah, it's cool. Um, as a cam, we've got so many of them. And even as central midfielders, we've got so many of them. And you can't really play this card as a DM, card, can you? His defending just isn't good enough to play him in uh, in CDM. I do love his passing, though. But I also love Xavi Alonso. I think Xavi Alonso's got some of the best passing on the game. So the differential there is, isn't that much, is it? So, you know, bang it. Jesus, I was not expecting that to go. Fair play, what a goal. The, the, there is one massive thing about this card, and it's exactly the same with Alonso, too, that I really like, is the fact that if you want to play them in cam, you can, but not only can you play them in cam, they've got good defenders, so they can help out defensively, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, his R1 dribbling is stupid, man. So, his dribbling and uh, passing... You know, No, sorry. His dribbling is better than Xabi Alonso's. His passing is just as good, but I think Xabi Alonso has better traits. I think he has the either the flair or swerve passes trait, which is actually quite valuable and is a very, very nice trait. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's it's, a, it's an interesting SBC, this one. I certainly don't think it's a bad one. Oh, my God. Uh, what, what I want to do is I want to see what his over-the-tops are like, because Xabi Alonso's over-the-tops were stupid. I think I've put the fullbacks on attacking. No, I haven't. I want to test this out, though. What's over the tops are like. See, now, now then, that, that was a now one triangle pass. Not that you'd really know it. Um, but yeah, I want to test what they're like because on Alonso, I was doing them all the time and they were going, they were pinging perfectly. So, fingers crossed that they're going to be good too. He's sure, surely sweating that, yeah. Fair play, he's back in the game. Um, but yeah, he, 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 this is a good card, man. It's, it's a good card, it's a strange card, but still, it's a cool card, man. You know, it's, it's it. The number one thing that we care about now, guys, is are the cards fun to play with? It's cards fun to play with. And that is the bottom line. Let's go to some highlights. <gasps> what a pass that is. Oh, my God. We've nearly scored it as well. What a pass that was from Thiago. Just wanted to let you know for this game as well, I've now moved Thiago into box to box midfielder to test him out there. Let's see what he can do. Thiago again here. Was quite well. We're going to go back into him. Yeah, man. I'll tell you something, guys. For what it's worth, this card is very, very good for the price. Assist for him there. That's an insane goal, too. Wow, he moves so quick, lads. Oh, that's really unlucky, man. He moves like crazy for a centre mid. Oh, he can't score, though. Unfortunate. Go on, Thiago. Oh. Oh, guys, he's dribbling, man. He's crazy. Holy. Thiago. Oh, bad finesse shots. Finesses don't seem that good. That's the one problem you're going to have with him there. He's just lost that physical battle there to uh, Sancho, which is quite poor. Yeah, nice ball. Thiago, that's brilliant. Oh, he's got a score, man. His finishing's actually quite mid, even with the marksman applied. 
Oh, a lovely goal there from Thiago. Very nice. Oh, his passing, man. His passing's unreal. What a goal from Ginola as well there, by the way. All right, so review is in on Thiago. We played him at Cam for the first half, and in the second half, we moved him to box-to-box -box midfield. Three goals and two assists. Now, this card, when you look at it, is quite underwhelming. I understand that. I'm aware of that. I understand that point completely. And when we have someone like Xabi Alonso, and let's quickly do the comparison because I've talked about Xabi Alonso an awful lot in this video. And I just want to compare them because I think they are very, very similar in some regards. But hello? That is not the Alonso I want, boys. I'm telling you, that's not the Alonso I want. Let me go here and do it this way. So as we bring that Alonso in and then we pop Thiago in there as well, you can see that Thiago's got one more pace, same dribbling. Alonso's got two more shooting, one more passing, 10 more defending, and eight more physical. Oh, eight more physical. Jesus Christ. No, that is very, very wrong. He's got 12 more physical than um, Thiago. Sorry. Had a bit of a brain fart there. So, you know, Alonso's also five star, five star, and can play center back, right back, left back, CDM, center mid, cam even arguably, in my opinion, striker. So, Thiago certainly isn't as, as good in terms of the weak foot, the new uh, utility, but he's a lot cheaper than Alonso. Is he as good? I think in certain ways, yes, he's he's probably better. But overall, I'd probably take Xabi Alonso just. Um, what Thiago is better than Xabi Alonso at is dribbling. His dribbling is very, very good. Sprint boost is very, very good. And R1 dribbling is unbelievable. The passing is about the same on the two. Over the top three walls, he's got crazy pass in this Thiago. Um, and then you've got the pace, which feels really good. You've got the shooting, which is is good. Not as good as Alonso's, though. Definitely not. Defending, he is a bit lackluster. He, his tackles are a little bit um, weak. And, you know, he doesn't really get the ball back too often. And then, he, you know, his, his physicals really do mean that he struggles very much in the box-to-box -box role because... He really doesn't have a physical presence. Even with the marksman applied, same going for the finish in there. Even with the marksman applied, you couldn't really feel a difference. But I still think this card is good, you know. I don't know if he's still explosive here. I think he is just. Um, and you want to keep him explosive, definitely. Because when he's explos explosive, what he's going to be able to do is, is use that sprint boost and really drive through the midfield. Unfortunately, the four-star weak foot lets him down a little bit. Um, you know, his finesse shots are quite average as well. But I do like this card. As I said, I prefer Chabi Alonso. But this card is fun to play with. He's quite unique because of how good his dribbling is. And, you know, how quick he turns on the ball. I think he'd be great on old gen as well, guys. It's a good price. He's fun to play with. Just a little bit of a mare card, though, in my opinion. I'm going to rate him an 8.5 out of 10. But, you know, when you consider it to Alonso, Alonso is a 9.8, 9.9 out of 10. So, this Thiago is worth it. You're going to get him completed anyway. But... Bit of a mare card in my opinion, guys. If you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to miss the player review. But guys, that is going to be it from me for now. So take care.